Okay, I'm back again, and here's my husband, Joe, back from the warehouse. Wave, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi. I'm not sure why he has that pencil in his ear, but that's Always okay. Always have a pencil in my ear these days. Okay, so anyway, he's back, and as, as promised, we've had a few hiccups in this, in this project so far. Small hiccups. And one is, music please. Welcome to Renovation Realities. Yes, okay. It's the home edition. Please. Notice, notice how that hole is shaped oddly like me. Okay. Guess why? You want to tell us the story what so, happened to you? Yeah, well, I was made three trips up in the attic to work on electrical wiring, taking it out mostly so we could remove this wall. And on my third trip, uh, which involves going in the other end of the house and working your way down, and it takes forever. It's very tiring. On the third trip, I was standing on that ceiling joist and to leave I stepped across to the other one and you may notice the gas line that's in between. Do we see my... the gas line? Wait, let me yeah. look. Can you see the gas line? I don't know. What am I looking at? It's the brown oh. pipe right there. Maybe I better go this way. And I hit it with my foot so therefore oh, there I missed is. the ceiling joist and came down through the drywall and I landed on the gas line. So that's good and bad because I did not fall eight feet on the concrete floor, which is the good half, but the bad line, the bad part is I was laying on the gas line. I knew I had to get off. So I reached over to the other ceiling joist with my right arm and just pulled myself back up out of the hole with one arm. And in the middle of that kind of exploded my bicep. So we can still see, can we bad. see? There's still some bruises here. Wait, let's get closer. Some bruises here. They're ugly. Just to be clear, let me tell. But the bruise did run it start from there all the way down here and it was purple all the way down there to the underside right here. clear down there and it was very purple so you're bulging you're still bulging a little mister yeah, a little bit. well i'll take credit for that that's me okay <laughs> but that was sort of gross it was yeah. i did a google and it said it was a popeye muscle that's what they call it yeah when popeye i came muscle. down the muscle was about up to here and it was huge However, fascinating a week and fascinating but horrible yeah Nonetheless. A week, 10 days later, I have range of motion back and I'm doing pretty good. Okay, cock your I pants. baby it. I'm, it doesn't, it's not as strong as it used to be, so I'm taking it easy on it and don't use it very much. I'm getting very left handed. That's good. Anyway, that's my adventure. So I highly recommend this if you're working in the attic. Do what I did over here, which is take down the rest of the damn ceiling. And, that's what uh, I did. Then you can work you shouldn't off. say damn, honey, this is a movie. Yeah, right. And then, uh, we you don't back off, up. You can work off a ladder instead of having to climb around up there. Yes, Let's, can I just put okay. a note in here? We decided we were maybe jinxing ourselves by saying that very morning, you know, we might want to just put a beadboard ceiling in here. <laughs> Sorry I said that, honey. We really want to put one in now. Yes, now it's going to be a beadboard <laughs> ceiling, <laughs> correct? Yep. Anyway, on the good side, though, is that I just had some help from a friend of mine who's a licensed contractor and does all this stuff for a living. And he came in and ran a new gas line, which comes right down the wall. You can see it there. Happened today. Right down there, and it's only been there for an hour. It's yeah, brand new. Yeah, just while I was waiting for you to come right. home. And there's the and valve we'll that will hook up to our brand new stove, which is already here in town in a warehouse waiting for us to send for it. So as soon as we get yes. this section done and the floor in, we'll be putting a new stove in and we're ready. Yeah. So we can say thank you, Jesus, correct? We can. Or no, thank actually, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, he did a good job. Yes, let's not get that confused. <laughs> <laughs> very good. That's my story. I'm sticking to so it. So you're feeling very good about the whole project. Oh, right. good, Are yeah. we on track? Two months into it? Oh, yeah. Well, two months technically, but heavy work in only a few weeks. So we're okay. doing pretty well. And what's next? I don't know. Oh, next? Next. Um, the... Sink lines, the drain and water lines have to get moved because the new sink is going to be that direction a little further, so everything has to move over. And um, I'm talking to him about doing that for us too. I was going yeah. to do it, but he's really good at this stuff. And yeah. He's very reasonably priced, so. Praise Jesus. 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 Good job. So we have to move those over a little bit so they line up with the new sink. We're going to add a bigger window, take this one out, and put a wider window that way. And there's a vent line that runs up and over and goes up there, and that has to move further away to accommodate the new window. So we'll get all that done. And then, then all these outlets need to be relocated to, some of them have to be moved, 
to exactly where we want them, all the way down the wall, and put one in for the stove. And uh, then we're going to put a floor down and get to it. That'll be nice. We'll patch up all the drywall and put down a floor, bring in a stove and some cabinets and start putting them together. You should get a job on this old house. It could be Joe's old house. <laughs> this is an old house. Old Joe's house, maybe. <laughs> old, Joe's. old Joe's house, I yeah. I like that better. Okay, yeah, so. thank you, Joe. We'll you're be, very welcome. We'll, we'll check back with you later to see right. what kind of progress you're making. See you, see you on another episode. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, I just had one more bit I wanted to add on to this upgrade. This is my planning book. I mentioned how I am so visual. My project had to be, I had to see it. This is where I, it begins in my project book here. And this is the wall I first started with. I don't know, you can't really see it, but um, as you see, I wanted to point out, this all began, I think I mentioned before, with our new refrigerator. This is my new refrigerator, which is now, I think, four years old, maybe more, oh, I hope not. I think four years old um, and I'm deciding a wall around that refrigerator to house that refrigerator that's what started this whole thing and um, one of the reasons this page is so hard to see is I have erased and redone it so many times anyway I wait I get this clip off of it I paid this clip together because I've changed the design so many times. This was <laughs> this was my uh, original pl plan for the window wall for the range wall, which is now the refrigerator wall. Started out with a stove in this corner. Then we thought we don't want the stove in the corner. Not a good idea. Anyway, this was. We decided we were going to add a couple sinks. We were going to have this was an original peninsula. We were going to make between the kitchen and the living room area. Sort of like the cupboards that used to be there but open as a peninsula. Got rid of that idea. Um, this was originally going to be the wall where the... Uh, window now is facing the front walk this hole representing where the window is now um, with built-ins this has changed a lot um, see all the page after page uh, we were going to add a, a second window this is where the second window was going to be added but that has been scrapped as well then of course in the whole process of repurposing all of the furniture that we wanted to use and all the wood we were we were taking out of the kitchen we decided to repurpose as much as we could it's like painting one wall of the house you paint one wall you have to paint the next wall the next wall pretty soon your house is completely painted the same kind of thing with this kind of a massive remodeling project the bedroom is involved because the bedroom is going to share the same flooring and um, I'm going to do some repurposing one piece to another. Some things moved into a closet, some things moved in to other parts of the house. So, again, this page has been erased and refigured so many times that I just thought was interesting. Here's a bird's eye view of what the kitchen I think is going to be. And here we have the new wall, the new window wall with a bigger, now a bigger window um, cupboard combination we're using combination uh, here we're back to the 36 inch shell sink which we had this had been a 24 inch sink we had to rechange that all up um, we ended up ultimately going to be using a combination two different IKEA cupboards two different colors completely two different shades a dark and a light a white and then some custom cupboards as well so it's going to be very eclectic which is sort of what we are, kind of eclectic. Um, and of course, the stove now being moved to midway on the wall, right about where we saw the gas line was coming in. That's going to be the stove. And what we still have to do, some design elements we have to work out are 
what kind of a range hood are we going to design and then we're going to be echoing that on the fireplace which is just beyond here just to the right of this cover so you see it's only a distance of I would say maybe five feet between where the stove is new stove is going to be located this range hood and the fireplace so we want to make sure that the style of the fireplace and the style of the range hood are compatible with each other we don't want it to be really too crazy pass anyway so as you can see I've drawn and drawn I think maybe that's all ah here this is the new window wall again this this area here represents where the window now is looking out into our front porch it's going to be a custom counter custom cupboards a that's I think our breakfast bar we're gonna call that our breakfast bar because we are big tea drinkers here so we're gonna have a lot of that featured on that wall I think with cookbook storage below Anyway, it's very exciting and um, very involved because we have all of these different, again, rooms of the house are involved. So I won't be making shallow promises. I promise to come back, show you the finished product. And um, encourage you to, uh, don't be afraid to change your designs. That's really the purpose of this. I, if I didn't have an eraser, I would, we wouldn't be having a kitchen because you get real you don't ever want to stick too close to what sh your idea because you have to be flexible. We had to change our sink. We had to change all kinds of things. So I erased and erased and erased and erased instead of my friend. And I still have lots more pages to go if I have counter any more problems, which I hope I don't. So anyway, um, thanks for listening and stay tuned. Bye.